M&J Video Games and Collectibles. Sport and non-sport cards, wrestling items, autographed items. We buy, sell, and trade. M&J Video Games and Collectibles, located at 1049 Queen Street, Southington, Connecticut. Call us at 1-860-479-9223 or 860-93-GAMES. M&J Video Games and Collectibles. You're hey, in a fight. For, don't, for, don't drag it on. <laughs> <laughs> you just you mentioned Jim Crockett. We lost him recently. Yeah. Uh, can you share your feelings on Jim Crockett Jr.? Jim was a good guy, but he was, you know, I think he was a little bit gullible when it comes to Dusty controlling everything mm. and Flair. You know, they would they would really take advantage of him. I think uh, they convinced him to buy a jet, airplane. You know. And uh, all the things that we're doing and promoting, you know. And but Jimmy even bought Dusty a brand new uh, Mercedes Sports One. You know, the, he was mesmerized with him. And uh, you know, the guy was booking cards with 30, 40 guys on it. I mean, come on, you know, it's not quantity of matches; it's the quality of the matches. You know, and he had all these you know, chain match, cowbell match. Ah, oh, jeez. And uh, I knew a guy that worked, his name was Sandy Scott. He was the guy in charge going, bringing the money back and taking care of the, you know, show the building, make sure everything was going okay. And he told me, he's a good friend of mine. And he says, I saw it coming. He said, I'm seeing it coming. You know, we bring home $90,000, we lost 30000 <laughs> Don't make no sense, you know. Yeah. Did and he yeah. try to talk sense into Crockett and say, hey, look, you, you're mismanaging the way this is set up? Well, they, they expanded too fast. And when you move up this in this direction up here, things are much more expensive than it was in the Carolinas or South Carolina or Virginia. You know, like they say, hey, you put a ring up for $300 in, in North Carolina, you know, and it costs you four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000 a year just to put up a ring because it's unions and it's big expense, you know. So, so, you know, it's funny you say that. So if you watch these wrestling documentaries, right, yeah. and they have Rhodes on there or Flair, they're like, if Crockett just would have stayed in the Carolinas, oh. we'd have been fine. But you're saying they're part of the reason this all happened. Yes, yes. Well, but, and, and, and that's why Dusty wind up wrestling up here with polka dots. Because <laughs> he used to knock Vince on every interview we did in NWA. Sure. He always put a dig. And Vince is a genius. Right. He put polka dots on him. And then and, and there's and a bodyguard why. named Virgil. <laughs> <laughs> Big Bang! <laughs> Don't screw with me, I Dusty! I, I picked up on it so fast, I said, my God. Because I didn't know Vince. Very, right. You know, I just uh, never talked to him for long, long periods of time. You know, it was just small talks. And uh, I said, what a genius. Instead of the old promoters, the NWA promoters would have told him to go screw himself. Mm. Vince, no. He made money with him, mm. and Dusty, and Dusty made money, but Vince made money. But then he also he ruined his career so he could go nowhere else because he was the one wearing polka dots. Go from the American dream to, to a polka dot man. With sapphire. 